Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 23rd 24th and 25th of october so do pay attention till the end and this session will be very beneficial to all of you as diwali is over now so let's start back our hard work and we should not be lenient in working hard because the exams are near and all those students who are preparing very much hard for the government exam should continue their preparation just keep on revising all the notes that we have been doing because it will be very beneficial for all of you all right so let's start the first topic that we are discussing is about mission life highly important First of all, you need to understand that what is this mission life that was recently launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. All right. Highly important. What is mission life? Mission life. It was introduced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during conference of parties. That was COP during. It was launched during COP 26. That is conference of parties. And where was this launch? Location is also important. It was launched at Glasgow in scotland in november 2021 all right this is a five-year program another thing that you need to remember that this life is a five-year program now but what is life what is this in uh, basically initiative all about basically as the name suggests life so that we can work towards our environment we can keep our environment safe we can keep our environment clean and here also three basic aspects have been worked upon. These are the three R's that we have been studying from the starting of our childhood. These are reduce, reuse and recycle. Apart from this, remember this life mission works on the basic principle of lifestyle of the planet for the planet and by the planet. All right. I repeat this mission life was introduced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. All right. It was launched during COP26 in 2021. It was a five year mission that will be from 2022 to 2027. In the first year, it will be curated and incubated by Niti Aayog and then will be implemented by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. This will be working on uh, the concept of reduce, reuse and recycle. And also the basic principle is lifestyle of the planet for the planet and by the planet. 
highly important friends i need you all to remember regarding this also apart from this remember prime minister narendra modi of india and united nation security general antonio guterres as you can see them in the picture made the global launch of this mission life that is lifestyle for environment for sustainable healthy lifestyle and the statue of unity ekta nagar केवेडिया गुजरात सो एट स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी दैट इज इन एकता नगर इन केवाडिया गुजरात देयर दिस ग्लोबल लॉन्च ऑफ द मिशन लाइफ वॉज मेड बाय टू पीपल दैट वॉज प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड एंटोनियो गटर्स हु इज द सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट Maha MTS. This Maha MTS is the India's first migration monitoring system. Important. Question can be asked to you that what will be the or what is the name of the India's first migration monitoring system and what is migration? There are two types of God. In this also remember immigration. All right and I repeat there are two terms. One is emigrate and another is emigrate. This emigrate means you are leaving your one country. That means you are going from. different country to live in one's country that means other people are coming to your country to live and emigrant is that you leaves one country to live in other country all right these two terms are important so and this is the basically the migration that you know there is a trend going on in the youth that most of the students want to go and study abroad so similarly remember in order to monitor that india's first migration monitoring system was inaugurated in mumbai maharashtra and it was named as maha mts what does this maha mts stands for maharashtra migration tracking system so remember mangal prabhat loda maharashtra women and child development minister he launched maha mts that is maharashtra migration tracking system that will be the india's first migration monitoring system and that was developed by department of women and child development this will provide information on the migrant pregnant women locate lactating mothers and children on a single system i repeat what this maha mts will provide it will provide information on migrant pregnant women and lactating mothers and children on a single system all right highly important take a note of this question can be asked that there was a system that was recently developed and launched by mumbai maharashtra and that system will provide information about the migrant pregnant women lactating mothers and children what is the name of that system it it is named as maha mts all right highly important apart from this remember this maha mts it focuses on the interoperability of universal health and nutrition benefits and various schemes during this period of migration so that the services to the migrant beneficiaries can continue uninterrupted that means if they are going from one location to another the health benefits the health services provided to the women should not be cancelled and it should continue at that particular time also All right, highly important. If we are talking about Maharashtra, who is the Chief Minister Eknath Shinde ji, who is the Governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari ji, and if we talk about a wildlife sanctuary here, so remember, Bamra Gad Wildlife Sanctuary is located here. Then Navegao National Park is located here. Chandoli National Park is also located in Maharashtra. Next news. NLC India signs MOU with National Institute of Wind Energy for onshore offshore wind power projects I repeat NCL India highly important remember this name all right NCL India limited they sign memorandum of understanding with whom with NIWE that is your National Institute of Wind Energy all right these organizations came together to sign an MOU for what for energy projects on offshore and offshore wind energy projects highly important question will be direct and simple to you all right so for the projects that is for development of projects of onshore and offshore wind energy projects two organizations came together to sign an mou which were these two organization nlc and your niwe that is your national institute of wind energy highly important friends all right even if you remember that we are talking about odisha here all right then odisha mobus service is launched by odisha first olympic values education program is launched here then remember they have launched several projects in order to keep their coastlines safe from various tornadoes from various storms because they hit their coast and they can damage the coast of odisha also 
so coming back remember these two organization nlc and niwe they both signed a mou for energy projects on offshore and offshore wind energy or wind power projects all right these two organizations are important next is royal society of chemistry they have partnered with council for industry and scientific research to support chemistry in schools across india sterling and wilson scholar has signed an mou with nigerian government india to invest 30 billion dollar for 4g and 5g connectivity to every village mansuk mandviya ji has inaugurated arogya manthan 2022 amit shah will inaugurate dairy cooperative conclave in gangtok assam to use portable device sas to stop neonatal deaths sikkim gets there or Sikkim get India's first avalanche monitoring system. This is very important, friends. And I want you all to take a note of it. That what is the name of the state that has got there or India's first avalanche monitoring system? It is your Sikkim. Highly important, friends. Next, next we are talking about Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He recently addressed the 90th Interpol General Assembly in Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. I repeat. 90th Interpol General Assembly was inaugurated where or it was addressed not inaugurated it was addressed by whom and where it was addressed so two questions it was addressed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the location where this was going on is Pragati Maidan New Delhi highly important take a note of it. So remember, it was the 90th session first thing that you need to focus on then it was the 19th session of which Congress or which assembly it was Interpol General Assembly that was held in Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. All right. And it was inaugurated by whom? Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So these are the some things that you need to focus on. All right. Then remember the Interpol General Assembly meeting was held in India after a gap of 25 years. Before this, before that means in 2022, before this, it was held in 1997. Highly important. All right, then Interpol launched their first ever global police metaverse. And what is metaverse? As you remember, Facebook has changed their name to Meta. And this is similar to that of virtual tour of your means you can go and have a tour of any place, any location on the websites itself. All right. So remember, Interpol launched their first ever global police metaverse specifically designed for the law enforcement agencies worldwide. And remember, the fully operational Interpol metaverse has allowed the registered users to tour their virtual replica of the Interpol General Secretary headquarters in Lyon, France. Next question. Where is the headquarter of Interpol metaverse? It is located on Lyon, France. All right. Who is the Secretary General of Interpol? Zergen Stock. Highly important. All right. Remember this. So 90th session of the Interpol General Assembly that was held after 25 years in India, last which was held in 1997, as was now held in Pragati Maidan in India and it was addressed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Next news, Dr. Mansuk Mandviya who is the Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare has inaugurated Advanced Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory in Mumbai. Highly important. We are talking about Advanced Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory and where is located? It is located at D.Y. Partical Medical, uh, D.Y. Patil Medical College that is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. All right. Remember, this inaugurated lab is the South Asia's first of its kind, most advanced, most of uh, most advanced model catheterization laboratory that is also known by the name cath lab all right highly important all right it will help in image guided surgeries also remember this facility will be use, uh, useful for coronary interventions like coronary angiography and angioplasticity also so coming back we are talking about the advanced cardiac catheterization laboratory or first cath lab of india it was or you can say the south asia's first of its kind most advanced model catheterization laboratory where is it located it is located in mumbai maharashtra so multiple questions can be asked here that who inaugurated it it was inaugurated by dr mansuk mandviya what is this cardiac catheterization laboratory or it is the first of its kind and most advanced laboratory of india then remember where was this inaugurated or where is this located this laboratory it is in 
एट विच हॉस्पिटल डी वाई पाटिल मेडिकल हॉस्पिटल दैट इज लोकेटेड इन नवी मुंबई महाराष्ट्र ऑल राइट एंड इट विल बी ऑल्सो यूजफुल फॉर कॉरिनरी इंटरवेंशन हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट टेक अ नोट ऑफ इट नेक्स्ट न्यूज नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल एक्शन टास्क फोर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिमेंबर फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट एफ ए टी एफ दैट हु इज द करंट प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ टी राजा कुमार एंड रिमेंबर ही वॉज द फर्स्ट सिंगापुरियन टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ दैन रिमेंबर वे इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ इज इन पेरिस फ्रांस एंड इन यू रिमेंबर पेरिस फ्रांस ऑल्सो दिस द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ यूनेस्को देन नेक्स्ट थिंग रिमेंबर एफ ए टी एफ रिलीज इज अ ग्रे लिस्ट एंड दिस इज द लिस्ट इन विच ऑल दोज कंट्रीज आर मैंशन दोज हू टेरर फाइनेंस एंड रिमेंबर रिसेंटली एफ ए टी एफ हैज रिमूव पाकिस्तान फ्रॉम द ग्रे लिस्ट ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट द नेक्स्ट न्यूज यू नीड टू रिमेंबर म्यामार इज ऑन ब्लैक लिस्ट नाउ ऑल राइट एज आई मैंशन म्यामार इज ऑन ब्लैक लिस्ट एंड एफ ए टी एफ हैज रिमूव पाकिस्तान फ्रॉम द एफ ए टी एफ लिस्ट ऑल्सो रशिया हैज बीन बेरेड टू टेक पार्ट इन एनी ऑफ द मीटिंग्स ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ बिकॉज करंटली रशिया इज वॉलेटिंग ऑल द प्रिंसिपल्स बाई अटैकिंग इट ऑन यूक्रेन सो कमिंग बैक फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर एफ ए टी एफ आउटकम्स ऑफ हैज रिसेंटली बीन रिलीज एंड इन दिस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वेरियस थिंग्स सच एज इन एफ ए टी एफ लिस्ट म्यामार हैज बीन इंक्लूडेड दे हैव बेरिड रशिया फ्रॉम दिस लिस्ट एंड हु हैज बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम दिस लिस्ट पाकिस्तान हैज बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम द एफ ए टी एफ लिस्ट हु इज द प्रेजिडेंट टी राजा कुमार ऑफ सिंगापुर इज द प्रेजिडेंट वेर इज द हेड क्वार्टर पेरिस फ्रांस इज द हेड क्वार्टर एंड दिस एफ ए टी एफ सॉ द डेलीगेट्स फ्रॉम ओवर ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड जूरिडिक्शन ऑफ द then as i mention question can also be asked in a tricky way about grey list that we know grey list is a ter- list of countries that terror finance then remember question if i ask you how many countries are there in the grey list currently as of now as of this report has been released there are 23 countries into the grey list all right there are grey list in this then remember we know pakistan was added into the grey list in 2018 now after 4 years Pakistan has been removed from the grey list. Moving on, friends. Anna May Wong to become the first Asian American to appear on the U.S. currency. Highly important, friends. All right, Anna May Wong, who is also known as Wong Lee Song. All right, Wong Lee Song, professionally known as Anna May Wong, the first Chinese American actor who left a lasting legacy for Asian American women with an accomplished career in the motion pictures television and theater will become the first asian american to appear on the us currency important the first american asian or first asian american to be more to appear on the us currency is wong lee song or professionally known as anna may wong highly important all right mark this next news this is just the same next is adani group has stopped the iifl wealth huron india rich list we know gautam adani is the third richest person in the world he is the richest or first rich on the first position in asia richest person as well as on the first position in india if we talk about mukesh ambani mukesh ambani is on the 11th position now and remember he is not even on the top 10 list mukesh ambani then who is the richest person elon musk and second is jeff bezos and on third is adani gautam adani then remember nirmala sitaraman she is the finance minister of india she has launched a e learning platform that is bharat vidya mark this then government has launched swachh vayu sarvekshan program as if we are talking about pollution here or air pollution remember delhi that used to be in the top 10 cities in the world with the most polluted air has not even now it used to be on the top actually in the previous reports but now the report that was recently released a day or two back it stated that india is uh, delhi is not even on the top 10 list that means the pollution in delhi is curing due to various efforts taken by the government next news is chandigarh airport will be renamed after bhagat singh and this statement has been launched after the joint collaboration between 
हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट एंड पंजाब गवर्नमेंट देन बी पी सी एल हैज साइंड एम ओ यू विद ब्राजीलियन ऑयल कंपनी पेट्रोब्रास टू डाइवर्सिफाई क्रूड ऑयल सोर्सिंग हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स मिनिस्ट्री हैज लॉन्च स्वच्छ टॉय कैथॉन जितेंद्र सिंह हैज लॉन्च और अनाउंस्ड वन वीक वन लैब कैंपेन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस दैट हू लॉन्च दिस वन वीक वन लैब कैंपेन इट वॉज अनाउंस बाय जितेंद्र सिंह मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट न्यूज नेशनल पेंशन सिस्टम पी एफ आर डी ए हैज चेंजेस द इक्विटी अलोकेशन रूल अंडर एन पी एस फॉर टायर वन टायर टू अकाउंट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स आई रिपीट पी एफ आर डी ए हैज रिवाइज द इक्विटी अलोकेशन स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर विच टायर फॉर टायर वन एंड टायर टू नेशनल पेंशन अकाउंट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस ऑल राइट अंडर दिज न्यू रेगुलेशन द स्टेट स्टेट अंडर दिज न्यू रेगुलेशन दीज स्टेट दैट द सब्सक्राइबर्स कैन अलोकेट अप टू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ देयर फंड टू इक्विटी अंडर एक्टिव चॉइस इन टायर वन अकाउंट फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ फिफ्टी वन ईयर्स विदाउट एनी टेम्परिंग रिक्वायरमेंट then in addition pfrd has decided to allocate 100% of the subscriber contribution to asset class that is equity in tier 2 accounts under the active choice without any tampering condition so these are the new regulations that have been revised by pfrd moving on next important news friends netherland has beaten china to become india's third largest exporter highly important friends i repeat this news netherland has overtaken china here it is china i want you all to add bangladesh also here all right so remember netherland has beaten china and bangladesh to become the india's third largest export destination highly important for and this has been data is released for fiscal year 23 that means for 2022 to 2023 all right so Netherland as i mentioned it has risen by two places by replacing china and bangladesh and becoming the india's third largest export destination it has risen two places and india's top 10 export destinations owing to a 106% increase in the dispatch to 7.5 billion dollar until august 2020 to all right highly important friends then the top exports destinations in india are of india are on the first it is united states of america second it is uae all right i repeat united states of america on the first position and uae on the second position continues to be the largest export destinations of india that means india is exporting the maximum to these countries also remember by august 2022 the exports to the united states has increased by 8.18.3 percent highly important and the exports to the united arab emirates has been increased by 27.3 percent during the same time period then if we talk about indonesia indonesia has climbed up seven places to secure the seventh position for being the seventh largest exporter of india all right coming back friends remember we are talking about netherland on the first position is united states of america second is uae and now netherland has become the third largest exporter destination of india fourth is your china and fifth is your bangladesh now all right highly important next next is m shrinivasan ji has been appointed as the director of aims delhi Dilip Turki has been elected as the president of Hockey India. Rajiv Bell appointed as the director general of Indian Council of Medical Research. Bharat Lal appointed as the director general of National Center for Good Governance. Mark this. Dilip S B has been appointed as the managing director and CEO of N P C I for five years. And remember, friends, National Payment Corporation of India has tied up with World Line in order to start the. UPI services in Europe highly important news take a note of it then Sanjay Kumar has been appointed as the managing director and chairman of Railtel corporation mark this also next news next is UP that is Uttar Pradesh government has won the top honor at the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban Awards 2021 under the best performing state category another way is the question can be asked is which is the best performing state under the pradhan mantri awas yojana urban it is your uttar pradesh but what is this 
प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना वॉट डज दिस स्कीम इज बेसिकली फॉर दिस स्कीम दैट इज प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना इज बेसिकली टू प्रोवाइड अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग टू द यूथ और टू द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया दोज हु आर लिविंग इन द अर्बन एरिया हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स ऑल राइट मार्क दिस सो द स्टेट दैट इज परफॉर्म द बेस्ट इन दिस प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना अर्बन अवार्ड इट इज योर उत्तर प्रदेश हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल राइट देन वी नो ऑन द फर्स्ट पोजिशन इट इज योर उत्तर प्रदेश कैन यू टेल मी द स्टेट दैट इज ऑन द सेकेंड पोजिशन हेयर इट विल बी योर मध्य प्रदेश ऑन थर्ड पोजिशन इट विल बी योर तमिलनाडु दैट इज वन द बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग स्टेट अवार्ड इन द फॉर द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स ऑल राइट देन रिमेंबर दिस प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना अवार्ड वो स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन हु इज द यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स हरदीप सिंह पुरी जी ऑल राइट देन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट न्यूज नेक्स्ट वी नो दैट रिसेंटली इट वॉज और शी वॉज लिस्ट रस हु वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यूनाइटेड किंगडम आफ्टर बोरिस जॉनसन रिजाइंड बट नाउ लिस्टस हैज ऑल्सो रिजाइंड एंड शी बिकेम द शॉर्टेस्ट सर्विंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यू के नाउ सो देर विल बी अ न्यू अपॉइंटमेंट मेड एंड न्यू अपॉइंटमेंट हैज बीन मेड येस्टरडे एंड ही वॉज ऋषि सुनाक हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यूनाइटेड किंगडम एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट ऋषि सुनाक एंड द वाई दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द हिस्टोरिक रीजन फॉर दिस इज दैट ऋषि सुनाक इज एन इंडियन ओरिजन ऑल राइट यू कैन से दैट ही इज एन अमेरिकन ओरिजन बेसिकली यू कैन से बट ही इज एन इंडियन ऑल्सो बाय बर्थ बिकॉज हिज पेरेंट्स दो दे माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम साउथ अफ्रीका बट दे आर ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजन सो ही इज एन इंडियन अमेरिकन हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ यूनाइटेड kingdom after listras resigned from her post so very important news friends remember question can be asked that just after 6 days which is the shortest serving prime minister of united kingdom so she will be liz trust or elizabeth trust all right then remember if we are talking about that she was the which number of prime minister of the conservative party so she is the fourth prime minister of the conservative party all right highly important and now who has been appointed as the new prime minister of uk he will be rishi sunak if we talk about uk who is the cap what is the capital of united kingdom london what is the currency used here pound sterling and also remember this pound has been on the declines for a very long time due to the economic crisis that is going on in europe next news next we are talking about qci that is your quality control of or quality council of india so quality council of india has recently appointed their new chairman and he will be zexi shah as you can see him in the picture zexi shah has been appointed as the new chairman of quality council of india highly important as we can see he was the former chairman of confederation of real estates developer association of india and now he has been appointed as the new chairperson of quality council of india for a period of 3 years with effect from 21st of october 2020 to so multiple questions first that who is the new chairperson of quality council of india he will be jaxi shaw second he was the former chairperson of which organization he was the former chairperson of confederation of real estates developers now he has been appointed for how many years he has been appointed for 3 years that you need to remember who he will be replacing or who he will be succeeding jaisa will succeed former mckenzie indian chief adil zen uh, zenul bhai who served as the chairman of qci from 2014 to 2020 to all right highly important friends then if we talk about where is the headquarter of qci that is your quality control of india a uh, quality council of india the headquarter is in new delhi and when was this founded it was in 1997 that this organization was founded qci is an organization that is your quality council of organization quality council of india is basically an organization of 1000 people and above basically they are working towards improving the quality of life of more than 140 crore indian citizens here the government with various flagship schemes are assessing the quality of education healthcare food sanitation ground water natural resources like coal and everything are managed here the quality of these items 
All right, so the new chairman of QCI is Jaxi Shaw. Next news is India has recently successfully test fired the new generation Agni Prime missile. Highly important. What is the name of this missile? That is Agni Prime. Question can be asked is that recently a country tested fired a missile that was named as Agni Prime. What is the name of the country? It is India or vice versa. The question can be asked that recently India successfully tested a new generation nuclear capable blasting missile what is the name of the missile it is agni prime location from where this was tested is of the coast of odisha this missile agni prime was tested then remember agni prime is a two stage canisterized missile with a maximum range of up to 2000 kilometers and remember it weighs around 50 percent less than that of agni 3 missile and also has a new guidance and propulsion system it can be launched from rail or road and can be stored for longer period of time so it is agni prime that was recently tested by india of the coast of odisha all right highly important next iit madras nasa's jet propulsion lab researchers study the microbial interactions in the international space station i repeat indian institute of technology madras and nasa that is your national aeronautics and space Organi administration jet propulsion laboratory researchers these two organizations and the researchers of these two organizations came together and they studied the interaction between the microbes in the international space station what is the reason difference between the international space station and the research going on on the earth the reason is of the gravity all right because of the gravity whenever we are researching anything all the research are focused and they have a element that is of a gravity always included in it but when we are in the international space station the element of this gravity this particular element is removed because there is no gravity in the space and there are various phenomena that we can observe in space that is going on in absence of the gravity all right we can observe the various phenomena we can observe the various results that cannot happen on earth because of the gravity but they are taking place in the absence of the gravity that is in the space because we know international space station there is no gravity there so that is the reason we are able to see or we even many research that are going on on the research on the international space station many research small research laboratories are being conducted so that researchers can go and do research on in the international space station about various topics all right so remember it was the researchers of iit madras and nasa's jet propulsion laboratory who have studied the interaction of microbes in the international space station highly important remember a microbe that resides on the international space station was found to be beneficial to various other microorganisms but hampered the growth of a fungus all right next next we are talking about fifth khelo india youth games to be held in madhya Pradesh highly important where was the fourth edition of the Khelo India youth games to be were held they were held in Haryana who won this it was won by Haryana only now we are talking about the fifth edition of the Khelo India youth games where they are going to be held they are going to be held in Madhya Pradesh they will be held in eight cities in Madhya Pradesh from 31st of January to 11th of February 2022 and the fourth edition of the Khelo India youth games which were postponed due to COVID-19 were held in June 2022 in Haryana all right highly important if we talk about Khelo India University games who topped here and where was this held this was held in Karnataka this was the second edition of it and who topped here it was your Jain University that secured the top position and now the fifth edition of the Khelo India Youth Games will be held in Madhya Pradesh if I ask you about the 36th national games where were these held these were held in Gujarat and just the cycling event here was conducted in New Delhi next Akshay Shah and Stephen Alter compiled and edited the new book that was the Corbett papers i repeat the book that is the corbett papers has been edited and compiled by whom akshiswa and stephen jolter highly important friends all right and this book will be published by whom this book will be published by black kite publishing black kite publishing all right next next is from independence to self-reliance this book was authored by dr bimal Jalan. directly remember economist dr bimal Jalan has authored a book that is from dependence to self-reliance mapping india's rise as a global superpower next 
International Stuttering Awareness Day. When do we observe this International Stuttering Awareness Day? It is observed on 22nd of October. Highly important. Then you need to remember the theme of this that is being seen, being heard, representation and normalization of stuttering in the men stream i repeat the theme of this isad that is your international stuttering awareness day is being seen being heard representation and normalization of stuttering in the mainstream this is basically to create awareness about the speech disorder known as stuttering or stammering all right highly important friends then remember as you can see in the picture this sea green ribbon campaign has been chosen as the ribbon or is chosen as the symbol for the awareness of international stuttering awareness day next so that's all for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision and then we'll proceed to the homework part mission life was launched by prime minister narendra modi and united nations security general from kevadia gujarat maha mts this is the first migration monitoring system that was inaugurated in mumbai maharashtra nlc india signed an mou with national institute of wind energy for offshore and onshore wind power projects prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the 90th edition of the interpol general assembly that was in pragati maidan new delhi this was held after 25 years before this it was in 1997 that was held in india then dr mansukh mandviya has inaugurated advanced cardiac catheterization laboratory in mumbai outcomes of the fatf plenary to october 2022 was released and here pakistan was excluded from the grey list and mayawar Myanmar was included on the grey list. Anna Mae Wong became the first Asian American to appear on the US currency. Then PFRDA PFRDA has recently modified the equity allocation rule for the tier 1 and tier 2 accounts under NPS. Netherlands has surpassed China to become the India's third largest export market. Uttar and it has also surpassed Bangladesh also. then up back the top owner at the pradhan mantri awas yojana urban awards mp was on second position and tamil nadu was at the third position uk prime minister liz truss has resigned after 6 weeks she is the uh, smallest serving prime minister of uk and now rishi sunak has been appointed as the new prime minister of uk qci appointed jaxi shaw as the new chairperson and he succeeded adil zainabullah then india has successfully tested the new generation nuclear capable agni prime blastic missile iit madras net sa nasa's jet propulsion lab these three or uh, these two organizations researches the study of microbial interactions in the international space station then the fifth edition of the khelo india youth games are going to be held in madhya pradesh akshay shah and stephen alter has compiled and edit a book that is the corbett papers next book is from dependence to self reliance this was authored by dr bimal jalam and international stuttering awareness day is observed on 22nd of october so these were your important one liners friends now it's time for your homework question first pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana third has been launched in which state second what is the name of the mascot unveiled for the fifa women's world cup and we have done this important question on daily basis on daily current affairs i have complied completed this particular news next listras recently resigned as the prime minister of which country and who has been appointed as the new prime minister tell me that also next asia's largest compressed biogas plant has been recently inaugurated in which state fifth which state was ranked as the first in the pradhan mantri awas yojana urban awards tell me the second and third state also these are your homework question friends if you don't know the answer just google it do your own research do not need you didn't you know you do not need to cheat because if you keep the answer cheating if you just go and just copy the answer from someone else comment then it won't be of any use to you or either me also all right personally just reading the same answers all right it is of no beneficial it's just the waste of time for you as well as me so i'll suggest you to just go google that particular question if you don't know the answer and then read about it all right that's the best way of learning things so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the 
of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue